Now, if you have teenagers or young people in their early 20s in the house, you may well be familiar with a voice that frequently emerges from their phones, tablets or computers. She's Lily Singh, who created a presence on YouTube seven years ago, called herself Superwoman, and now has 11.4 million regular subscribers to her channel. This video gonna be crazy! What up everyone, it's your girl, Superwoman. And I jumped on my Facebook and I was like, what do you all wanna see for Super Thursday? And so many people were like, your parents reacting to Anaconda. And I'm like, you really gonna do that to me? So I have forced my parents to watch Anaconda, which is Nicki Minaj's new music video. What up, t-shirt reference? So this should be interesting. Uh, I hope you enjoy. Okay, take it away. Hello, hello, hello. Manjeet Singh, Chandigarh Sector 17. <laughs> Lily, I'm coming double. Oh. <laughs> Today we are making video reacting to Nicki Minaj. Minaj. Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj. 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 Nicki Small Minaj. Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj. Video called Anaconda. Anaconda. I like that one song which says Starship meant to fly. I think it's a very good one. This video is going to be just like Jungle Book. We're higher than a mother daughter. Dun, dun, tiger. Anaconda jungle. Happy boo -boo -boo jungle. I'm doing computer. Well, she's now taken a rather more conventional route in which to give advice about how to conquer life. It's a book called How to Be a Boss. That's boss with a Canadian accent spelt B-A-W-S-E. Lily, we made you listen to yourself <laughs> there. You actually made yourself laugh. I did. I laugh at my own jokes all the time. I'm a huge nerd. What exactly <laughs> was that? about? That was my parents, and when I say parents, I mean myself dressed up as my parents, reacting to the music video for Anaconda by Nicki Minaj. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, what, what would your parents' reaction to that be? Would they know what you were talking about? They would know. Now they would know what I'm talking about, but back in 2010 when I started making YouTube videos, they absolutely had no clue what I was talking about. But it has been a learning transition for them, and now they thoroughly understand what I do. Now, you come from a, a fairly conventional Punjabi Sikh background. Mm -hmm. What did your parents make of the plan when you said, I'm going to do these videos and I'm going to be on YouTube and I'm going to be famous. <laughs> That's a great... I didn't know I was going to be famous, actually. That was just wishful thinking back then. Um, you're correct. They were tr quite traditional and they were very confused when I said I didn't want to obtain a master's degree, but instead wanted to make YouTube videos because, like most Indian families, my dad wanted me to be a lawyer or a doctor or something. Um, and they gave me one year to try it out. They said, if you want to try this crazy thing we know nothing about, try it for one year and do it to the absolute best of your ability. And I did. Now, why this more conventional route, a book? It's allowed me to express myself very differently. You know, when I make YouTube videos, I have to limit myself to a five minute video, uh, strategically put a punchline here, make sure the audience is still paying attention here. With the book, I was able to be way more thorough with a lot of the things I've learned in life. It's a different medium. And I, to be honest, was just really happy with where I was in my career and personally, and I felt like I could write a guidebook on how to be a boss. Oh, boss. I Bouse. said boss. Oh, you nailed it. Don't worry. You're good. That was American, wasn't it? Bouse. It's actually not a difference between American and Canadian. It's a boss, B-O-S-S, -S, is someone that only is in the workplace, where a boss is someone that conquers all of life. So okay. Thank you for clarifying. Of course. My pleasure. <laughs> now, you do call it a guide to surviving life, and then surviving is crossed out and conquering is yes. added instead. Mm -hmm. So what are the essentials for conquering life? There's a few things. The book is divided into four sections. The first being master your mind. So befriending your mind, understanding why you think the way you think. The second section is hustle harder which is just the blatant reality of you have to work hard and there are no giveaways in life. The third section is make heads turn, which deals with confidence and loving yourself and having attractive behaviors. And the fourth is be a unicorn, which is basically a metaphor for be kind and compassionate. Not have a horn and You could do that. If, that's optional. That's optional. <laughs> Hustling sounds exactly. like, you know, you might be using your unicorn's horn for... <laughs> violent reasons. No, there's no violence promoted in the book, I promise. <laughs> now, how did you actually begin the YouTube presence? Were you just in your bedroom doing it by yourself? Yes, 
that's kind of how it still happens, to be honest. Um, it was 2010 when I made my first YouTube video. And to be quite honest, it was because I was a sad person. I was going through a very difficult time period. And Why? I, Why were you so I, was, sad? I was sad because I was in my last year of university. And I had lived a very creative childhood. And then towards the end of my school year, I was led to believe that I would graduate and find a job and then have to get married and live this very linear life that I did not want to do. And so I felt like I lost every creative spark in my body until I discovered YouTube. And that gave birth again to this this little voice inside of me that was like, do something you want to do, not what everyone is telling you to do. And that's what YouTube was for me. It was a reminder that I could do something I enjoyed and do something for myself. And one video led to another until I created Superwoman out of it. And why Superwoman? Superwoman is actually based off one of my favorite hip hop songs growing up. But I also say that the fact that I call myself Superwoman is a huge testament to the fact that I did not think my channel would be as big as it is. Because obviously Superwoman is a copyrighted, trademarked entity. So I always say that was little naive Lily making a username on YouTube. And, and have they had any problems with it? No, because I think the smartest thing I've ever done in my life was proactively approach DC and say, FYI, I am... DC. DC as in DC Comics, who owns the Superwoman entity, um, and said, I'm using this name and I'm positive and family friendly. Please don't sue me for $100 million. <laughs> and so I have a deal with them and they're very lovely and great about it. So how much of a Superwoman are you? Oh, I would like to believe I'm, like, the full-fledged real deal here. What do you think? Explain. Okay, I will explain. Uh, I believe... I call myself Superwoman A because when I was younger, it was very motivating to me as a kid to think, oh, you have problems at school or at home? Well, you're a superhero and you can get through it. And that followed me into adulthood. This idea of you can conquer things and you don't have to submit yourself to the trials and tribulations of life. Um, and I like to tell people that everyone has a superhero in them. Everyone has a boss inside of them. Everyone has a happy place inside of them. Now, you put videos up twice a week, mm -hmm. which is a lot, that, I, Thank you, I know. <laughs> so what, what inspires your subject matter week after week after week? Literally everything. I'm a very observational person. And people say this is because of my psychology degree. And I think, hopefully, because it was very expensive, but I'm just a very observational person. Whether I'm at the mall or at a restaurant or talking to my friends, I pay attention to patterns in human behavior and how people talk about each other and how people talk to each other. And I make notes of it. And then I exaggerate them and make fun of everyone, including myself. But where's the pleasure in doing it all on your own? I mean, clearly you are a natural comedian, oh, actor, thank you. Thank writer. You. Well, you are. <laughs> How much are you hoping that online will take you again to more conventional things? Film, television, theatre? You know, it's an interesting question. In 2010, when I started, YouTube was definitely not the powerhouse it is today. And so there was definitely an idea that you could use YouTube as a stepping stone to get to Hollywood. Seven years later now, I think YouTube has very much so become a huge contender in terms of entertainment. It is a massive platform and I don't feel the need to use it as a stepping stone. I definitely want to enter Hollywood and try film and TV, but not at the expense of my career on YouTube. I'd love to do it in addition, in addition to being in the digital space. Now, your parents were keen that you should be able to make a living and they gave you... As, as parents should be. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> How pleased are they with the living you are making? Now they're very pleased. Now they understand very thoroughly what I do. They've been to my shows. They've seen my videos. My fans recognize them on the regular. They're super supportive now. I always tell people my dad is a little too supportive now. He will proactively find people and tell people that he's my dad. So he's super supportive now. How wealthy has it made you? I'm in a very good place. I can do all the things I'd like to do. Not that that's the reason I work hard, but it's I'm in a very good place. Lily Singh, thank, thank you, you so very much. much. Wonder Woman, thank, thank you, you very much <laughs> indeed for being with us this morning and introducing me to something I hadn't seen my until pleasure. today. Thank you. <laughs>